gig. I really need a haircut today, man. Can you fit me in? Whoa, whoa, sorry. Probably for doing this funny cowboy dance. <laughs> Great. treatment. Catherine, hang on. We're bringing you back. Just fight a little longer. Direct synaptic stimulation might drive out the alien presence. I was right. I heard Tuvok and Chakotay and the doctor. You're an alien. You've created all these hallucinations, haven't you? This is what my species does. At the moment, just before death, one of us comes to help you understand what's happening, to make the crossing over an occasion of joy. And what is that? Our matrix where your consciousness will live. I was being truthful when I said it was a place of wonder. It can be whatever you want it to be. 
Then why didn't you tell me this from the beginning? Why pretend to be my father? Usually people are comforted to see their loved ones. It makes the crossing over a much less fearful occasion. I've done this many times, but I've never encountered someone so resistant. Something's happening. The alien presence is getting stronger again. Fight it, Catherine. Fight it just a little longer. I'll have to try a Thoron pulse. My people are telling me to fight. They're trying to save me. They're trying out of desperation. It's hopeless. You're the one who sounds desperate. I don't get the feeling you're trying to make me comfortable. You're only interested in my agreeing to come with you. Because it's inevitable. And you don't strike me as any kind of good Samaritan. You're more like a vulture, preying on people at the moment of their death when they're most vulnerable. I've waited for you. I've been patient. But your patience is wearing thin. What's the real reason you want me in that Matrix? Somehow I don't think it has anything to do with everlasting joy. You must go with me. If you could force me to go, you'd have done it already. You need me to agree, don't you? I have to go voluntarily. Wouldn't that be better than standing here in this endless debate? Let me tell you this. We can stand here for all eternity, and I will never choose to go with you. You're in a dangerous profession, Captain. You face death every day. There'll be another time, and I'll be waiting. Eventually, you'll come into my Matrix. And you will nourish me for a long, long time. Go back to hell. Your green.